What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Tuesday to you guys. Happy 1st of August to you guys. I hope that you guys are having a great start to your week. I had a fantastic weekend. This has probably been one of the best weekends since I've been on this campground. I was out, I was about, I was socializing, I was talking and meeting people. I was very surprised <laughs> at myself. I got my walks in, my laps around the campground to keep my steps up, and I just had a great weekend. It was a full weekend. The campground was very busy. It was probably sold out, so to speak, but it felt that way because it was like a lot of people everywhere. So a very good weekend. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. And speaking of steps, I got up this morning. I felt really good. I went on my first lap around the campground. And so far I have done 4,319 steps. So what a great start to my day. And today I think um, I was deciding, I was trying to decide whether I want to do a day trip today because I have a full day trip planned out in my head or I just want to go to the movies and hang out and I also want to stop at the UPS store and send a, a Jackery off to the young lady. Uh, I think I'll do that and I'll do the day trip later on uh, during the week because I really want to go ahead and get that Jackery sent out to the young lady. And then um, later on today, I probably am going to fix um, something that I've never fixed before. I have all the ingredients. I bought it the last time I went to the grocery store and I'm super excited about that. I, whew, I never fixed it and it's going to be a wowser. Trust me, it's going to be a wowser because it's nice and simple, but it's going to be delicious. All right, guys, I am ready to go ahead and prep my van to leave off the campground. By prep my van, I mean take my two side panels off and all of that stuff and head on out to the movies, UPS, and Walmart. That is, if I can remember all the things that I had in my head to get to Walmart. Because isn't that like the worst thing when you go and then when you leave and get back to where you are, are going and man i forgot to get this <laughs> and this is a 40 minute drive so it's no turning around and going back and getting it so i need to hopefully remember it and if not i probably just won't even go to walmart all right guys let's get going i just thought of something the place where i got my uh, dentures from in baltimore they have a location in this uh, city that i'm going to now Vesta, new york I'm going to check and see how late they are open and if they are open late enough when I get out the movies I'm going to go and talk to them and maybe I can get the ball rolling on getting my permanent dentures put in because it's been it's been a minute since I had these so-called temp <laughs> dentures in my mouth but the main thing I'm looking for when I get my next set of dentures is one I'm not going to get the hard acrylic ones. I'm going to get the softer version ones. And two, I'm going to make sure them bad boys stay in my mouth because I have been using adhesive for the longest time on these dentures and I don't want that the next go round. Because if that's if that's the case, I may as well just keep, keep the ones that I have in my mouth. You know what I mean? If it's not going to be any difference between the temporary and the uh, the permanent ones they give you temporary ones so that you know you can have something in your mouth <laughs> while your gums and everything are adjusting but I'm telling you my gums been adjusted I had these things for probably nine or ten months now so I just now thought of that I was like oh right because I looked it up probably a week ago because I was gonna go down back down to Baltimore make a special trip back down to Baltimore and get it done in between my last day at the campground and before me going to the California road trip. But now, I don't have to do that. I can incorporate that in my day. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know if they're open. When I uh, get out the movies, I'll stop past there. 
Alright guys, I arrived at the UPS store. I'm about to head in and send this Jackery out and then head across the street to the movie theater. I don't have time to go to Walmart uh, because the movie starts in about 40 minutes. So I'm just going to see what else is around. I think it's a Dollar Tree uh, on that same uh, block. So I'll probably mosey in there and see. But I'm about to head into this UPS store now. All right, guys, I just now finished mailing out the Jackery to the young lady. Uh, you should receive it, they said, around Wednesday. So look forward, it will be coming through UPS. All right, I'm about to head on across the street right now, find a parking spot, and just kind of mosey it around because I got, like I said, 40 minutes before the movie start. Then I'll come out of the movies and if the dental uh, place is open, I'll go by there and that's it. There's a lot going on right here in this area right here. I'm trying, these people, they stopping where they not supposed to stop. Now how am I supposed to get up out of here? My goodness. Stopping off. Uh, they don't want to park and run into the UPS store. They want to stop in front of the UPS store and block the passageway for other cars to get out. Jimmy Crack Horn. All right. Wally, no, not Walmart. What am I talking about? Ooh, he found the coop. <laughs> this is why I love this area right here. And it was only actually 36 minutes from the campground. Look at all of these things that are around here in this area. Let me try to give you guys a look-see. Okay, first of all, there's the movie theater that I'm going to in a few minutes. Then around, they got Burlington, Dick Sporting Goods, Sam's Club down at the end there. Over there, they have a Barnes and Noble. I went to the UPS store right across the street. And then over this way, you guys should already be seeing all the blue Walmart emblems coming up. They got a Fridays over there. They got a ton of restaurants and stuff around here. Then they have, there's the Walmart. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there. I wish I had time to go over there, but I'm gonna drive my car over there anyway. But nonetheless, you guys can see, they have a Walmart over there. So that's pretty neat. A couple things down that way, a gap. Oh, I know this camera is moving all over the place, this phone. But pretty good, pretty good. All right, guys, I just came out of the Affordable Dentures and Implants office there, and I did not get the best of news. I was hoping for some better news. And by that, I mean um, their process is they... They gave me an appointment. I don't know if I'm keeping an appointment yet um, for Tuesday of next week at 8.30. Now their process is on this particular day I come in, they'll take a mold of my teeth and everything or my gums or, and everything else. Then they send their mold out. She said it would take about three weeks for that mold to come back to their office. 
then I have to go back in there, come back here, and they will fit it in my mouth, see if I approve of it. They're gonna send a wax sample back here. Then once it's approved by me, they send it back out for another three weeks to actually make the permanent teeth. So I'm looking at, at worst case scenario, six weeks. But here's my dilemma. In six weeks, we're talking about in September, probably mid-September. And what I need to do is call the um, location in Baltimore. Because I asked her, I said, well, do you guys do same day uh, teeth like the, the uh, uh, location in Baltimore? Because I got these dentures the same day. I went in in the morning around 10 o'clock. They took the mold and around five o'clock. I got these uh, 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 temporary ones, excuse me. And she said, we don't do same day anything here. We send everything out. So what I'm going to do is call the location in Baltimore, see if they do the same process as they did these. Uh, I go in and I take the uh, mold again in the morning and then get. So I don't know, I kind of like their process here much better because they send it out to a actual, uh, I'm not gonna say the one in Baltimore is not an actual lab, but their process seemed more like, I think I would feel more confident in the, the, the fit of the next set. And I told her that, you know, I asked her, are they going to fit? Because I am using adhesive to keep these in. And she said, oh yeah, she said by now, cause I told her it's been like eight months since I had these. And she said, oh yeah, right now, you know, your gums are where they're gonna be They, They, you know, and it should fit really good. She said like 90%, she said, um, you know, it's a, it's a really good fit. So I said, okay. She said, it shouldn't be no problem because, you know, it's been eight months. So, I don't know whether to just move forward up here. Cause then I almost feel like the whole one day thing is a rush. And I, I feel like this particular office will do a better job. So I don't know what. Anyway, I have until next Tuesday or to decide what I want to do. All right, guys, I am back at the campground. I did stop at the grocery store and pick up some more water since I did not stop at Walmart. And um, I bought some more of these, <clears throat> these little brats here. Man, they are so delicious. These little beef brats here. Man, they are so delicious. So <clears throat> I got two packs of those because you know when you buy hot dog rolls, you're gonna have two rolls left over from however many hot dogs. So I decided to buy two packs of those so I can hopefully have the right number of hot dog rolls. So this is gonna be a simple hamburger, not simple. Well, it is gonna be simple, but it's gonna be delicious. I've been making my hamburgers this way and I know some of y'all probably be thinking, oh my goodness, why not grill them? Well, it just hasn't been, you know, I gotta be in a grilling mode. I mean, mode. <laughs> I gotta be in a grilling mood. I'm thinking about the dentist because I just now left the dentist's office on mode. <laughs> All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and season this patty down. And I mean season it down. I'm not gonna spare no expense. Okay, one of the things that I like to do with my hamburger patties is to press them down because it keeps them from curling up when you put them on a hot pan. So especially in the center, if you press it down in the center, it really helps prevent that from doing.
See that? That boy is flatter than it was when I uh, took it out the refrigerator. Let's get busy, busy, busy. Get some seasonings going on here. And repeat. Get the pan going. This, this whole thing, and it's probably the way my van is sitting because my van is on a slight angle. So it's hard for me to get this thing to sit up. And you can tell it's on a, uh, an angle because the oil, when you put it in, will go to one side. All right, there we go. Now I place this in the pan slightly that way as opposed to in the center of the uh, frying pan because it seemed like it burns a lot and leave a lot of grit on the uh, frying pan when I put it directly in the center. And again, the oil kind of goes over to the side. I have a, a cloth right here to try to balance it out, but. seem to put just too much oil in the paint and then you got all the oil just access oil just sitting around Tomatoes, mayo, and pickles. Woo! 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 -hoo. Oh no, I'm running light on the mayo. I wish I would have known that. I would have got some more. Light on the pickles too. And I got some chips.
These little crunched up ones that's left over, I could have left these in the bag instead of put on my plate. See, that's a lot better, right? That's a lot better right there. That's not too bad right there. I got a thick piece. I cut that bad boy too thick. All right, while I'm waiting for this burger to get done, let me chat a little bit about this movie I went to see. I went to see the horror movie called Talk To Me. Let me raise y'all up just a little bit. Y'all don't need to see what's in the pan now already. Y'all know what's in there now. I went to see the movie Talk To Me about the hand, if you if you uh, handshake the hand or and say talk to me, you know, some spirits come out in you and it could be spirits that something from your past or in your life. You know what? The movie was okay, but it got on my nerves. It got on my nerves, I mean, the people was doing some stupid stuff, which is, you know, not out of the ordinary with, with horror movies. We've all seen horror movies throughout our lives where we were like, no, don't. And these people were getting on. I was this close to walking out, but I said, uh-uh, Anthony, you're going to hang in there. So, <sighs> I tell you, they don't make movies like they used to make them. Oh, the wind is blowing. I hope the camera don't fall. The wind is blowing. So, I don't, <clears throat> I think what I'm going to do, I told you guys about the whole dental thing and the dilemma that I'm in. I think I'm going to just go ahead and let this dental office up here go ahead and do my dentures. Uh, worst case scenario is... Michael and I will just get a later start on our California road trip because this is the best time frame for me to get it done because it's going to be a little busy, you know, because I don't want to be up this way during the winter time. I do want to head back down south. Okay, I don't know whether my propane ran out not propane why well, i said propane i don't use propane my butane yep empty i'm glad boy because i'm i'm going through these cans boy so when i finish using up all of these cans butane cans that were sent to me thanks again to that person who sent me the box of uh, butane cans when i finish using up these butane cans I can get to using my uh, propane stove that I bought with the kit here. I knew something was wrong because the sizzling stopped. <laughs> but I want to show you guys something too. Come with me. Come on, come on. Gotta get back going. I want to show you guys something. All right. See there. This is the topper. When I first bought the kit, a couple people in the comments was like, uh, Anthony, you should buy a topper to help protect your uh, cushions and your mattress or whatever. So I did. See, I listen to y'all sometimes. Not not all the time, because sometimes, you know, it, the, the advice be a little whack. But anyway, I bought this topper. I had it now for a few months or a minute. 
But what I did was I cut out, I cut out this part, the inside part. This was the part that if you lay it on a mattress, it's the fitted part that you put on all four corners to keep it in place. Well, I didn't need that part. And when I was laying down, you know, and had this over top of me, the fitted part was getting on my nerves and everything. So I went ahead and cut it right on out. You can see right there. See the edges? Some of the edges are a little raggedy. <laughs> but I cut it out. And now, and now I can sleep on this. I don't have to worry about which side I'm on. I can sleep on it this way or that way. And it's easier to fold for me to put back in place. See that? Easy peasy. Easy, oh shit, I mean shucks. <laughs> okay, I didn't say the S word. All right, the burger is getting back to cooking. I'm gonna throw this cheese on here now. What I notice is, before I had this white cheese, the last pack, the, the white cheese don't melt as good as the yellow cheese do. That's my experience now. Now we do the guessing game. Hmm. I wonder if it's done inside. Hmm. I wonder how red it is on inside. <laughs> oh, but you know what? I can't do it now. I got cheese in there. I did buy a meat th thermometer. Something else people were saying in the comments when I did the uh, grilling video. Ooh, okay, calm down, calm down. When I bought, the, I did the grilling video. Buy a meat thermometer. That one. All righty. Look at that, the right size for the big buns. Tomato. Alrighty guys, look at that burger. That burger looks good, don't it? I know, I know. And no, I ain't giving y'all no first bite, no bites, no bites, no bites. I'm selfish today. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm excited now to get my new dentures now that I have taken a first step. Eight months. I had the so-called temporary ones in for eight months. A month. You're supposed to only keep them for like, or they would like you to only keep them for three months. But they were working for me besides the whole adhesive thing. What was the point? What was the rush? Mm. 
mean, though? Mm-mm. Everything has gotten quiet now on the campground. People left Sunday. And now it's just so quiet. I don't have any tenters behind me. I'm the only one in this section here. And I like that. Mm. I've been eating a lot of hamburgers lately. I bought <clears throat> another pack of four of the Angus hamburgers. I'm gonna put those on the grill. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna cook, I'm gonna grill them all at once. Cause I'm gonna get that grill thing. You watch. Oh, I got something else to share with you guys. Let me start now. <clears throat> my brother-in-law. I talked to my sister, my middle sister, and I told her that I was going to Japan. And she told her husband that I was going to Japan, and he's always wanted to go to Japan. So. I um, screenshot all my information for the Japan trip and I might have some company on the Japan trip. My brother-in-law might be going on a Japan trip with me. And he and I get a well. <clears throat> he and I get along so well. I mean, we just crack out with one another. <clears throat> and I have known him for years and years and years, and we get along so very well. I think we will have a great time. But you know what? If he go, I'm gonna put him to work. Cause then I don't have to hold my own camera. I'm gonna say, here, hold this and record me while I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna put him to work. <laughs> Cause that, that would be so great to have someone on that type of trip that, you know, can hold the camera for you for a few minutes while you, you know, doing your thing. So yeah, I haven't gotten my answer yet. I just now sent my sister all the information a couple of days ago. So I guess he's still kind of thinking about it. It's a 18, it's an 18 hour flight. I got a four and a half hour layover in London. Yep. Four and a half hour layover in London. I'm ready to go. Any FOAs in Japan? This weekend is the most popular weekend of this campground. It's called Illumination Weekend. They're gonna have a lot of the campground all lit up at night. A lot of the permanent campers, and I would assume some of the people that are here for that weekend as well, are going to light up 
and decorate their sites with lights and everything. And when you walk through that, this campground at night, it's gonna be so beautiful with everybody's light decorations and everything. So I bought me some lights so that I can, I came here last year during this weekend, illumination weekend, but I didn't do any lighting to my site. But I bought some lights this year and I'm gonna see what I can do and, and get some lights going on around here to try to participate. I really need to start getting more involved in what this campground has to offer during the weekend events because there's a theme weekend every weekend and there's either a party that reflects that weekend or something they always have a potluck every sunday which is something that i can go to and even if you don't cook anything you can donate um, some money so i just need to get involved and get out there. I'm slowly but surely doing it. I've done I've done more than I've ever done at campground uh, this year since I've been here at this uh, campground. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling on. I think that's gonna do it. I'm getting my teeth. I'm getting my new dentures. I asked the woman. I said, "Are they gonna make the mold with my teeth out or in?" She said, "Most likely out." First, she said. And I said, and, but these don't fit right. I don't want a mold of what I have now. I'm gonna need something that's much more form fitting. And she said, yeah, they probably draw with it out. And I was like, okay, girl, I'm gonna ask the dentist when I talk to him and I see him, <laughs> you, you here and then there. But yeah, I'm so excited now that I took that first step. Sometimes it just take you taking that first step and then you forge forward. And that's how I'm going to do. I'm going to make it work. I don't care how long it takes for those dentures to come back. I'm going to stay up this way. I'll figure out where I'm going to go and where I'm going to stay when I leave this campground on the 27th. Who knows? I might go up there and say, well, can I stay? The season here is over, I think, mid-September. So if I extend another two weeks, that means I've been here practically the whole season. So we'll see. And that will be perfect because... But I think this site is gonna be taken after I leave. Yeah, he said that this site was available until the 30th of August, and I'm here until the 27th. So, but who knows? I might go up to the community tent section for two weeks. I mean, the weather should be great up there at that time of the year. So we'll see. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna stop rambling on and finish enjoying this delicious hamburger. Um, I will be making the my intended meal the next day or so uh, for you guys and for me. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, lots of exciting things coming up. I'm so excited, so excited. And I'm not gonna tell y'all something, but anywho. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys greatly. You know that, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.